Hello, brothers and sisters of the Briar. Professor Jeremiah here. It's rather late at night, and this is my my last bowl of the day. I've I've been on the go all day. I uh, had several errands to run. Was at my tobacconist for an hour and a half, two hours maybe, which for me is a pretty quick visit. And uh, there's a lot of folks there today, so I got to catch up with a few people that I hadn't seen in a while. Really kind of was topped off the week. Uh, we had Pipe Club Monday evening and had a, a nice crowd there. A uh, couple of people short from what we normally have, but it was a good time of just getting together and talking. But what I wanted to show you tonight is that I'm smoking one of those blends that I call unobtainium. Uh, it's that blend that you always hear about, but you never get an opportunity to try. And this one is very unlike some of those which I have obtained before. Uh, I know I might step on a few toes here, but uh, when I got a, my first 10 of Penzance, I really was not as impressed as all the hype led me to, to believe I should be. So, this one I thought it could end up falling into that same category, and it has not. I will have to say that what I'm smoking right now If I had the opportunity to smoke this on a regular basis, it would definitely be in my rotation. And that's Butera's Pelican. It is everything that everybody has said in the positive light of it. Uh, I will tell you, it, it would definitely be in my regular rotation if this was something that I could get a hold of on a regular basis. It's kind of that, that tin that you go to the website, you click on it, it says sold out. You click email me, notify me when it's in. You get notified. We have it. You go to the website to order it. It says sold out. <laughs> That's the age old story. I run into that over and over and over again. And so I thought I would never really get to try it. I do have an age 10 that's in Africa, and uh, actually somebody opened that age 10, and that's okay. That Things like that happen. They opened it and smoked a little bit of it, but it's in Africa, and I've not got to, to try that one yet. But now I finally have this one. I went into my tobacconist shop a few weeks ago, and they had some, but when they had it was at a time that I didn't have any money. And so I thought, well, when I get a little bit, of extra money I'll buy me a 10 and then I had a little bit of extra money but I forgot about them having the tens of pelican I'm surprised they didn't sell out as soon as they came in but anyway they didn't and uh, so last week I was in and a phone call came and I heard one of the workers there telling the guy on the phone oh yeah I think we have one last 10 left and I quickly said, no, you don't. And I grabbed it up off the shelf. And so here it is. So I will say it is it is beyond my expectations. Uh, I think it's the sweetness in the blend that, that's selling me, the, that sweet Virginia. Uh, if you're not a lot of Kia fan, I'll say it's really not overpowering a lot of Kia. And I, I smoke a lot of heavy lot of Kia blends, and this is not one of them. It's kind of that Oriental and Turkish uh, blends in it. Uh, they're very nice. If you've never seen this tamper before, it's really neat. This is a World War II RAF tamper. Uh, the, this part's wood, ebony, and then this is a 303 uh, shell casing.
Well, I just thought I would share with you this tin of pelican. I kind of hate to review something that's really not that accessible, but uh, maybe my review will encourage somebody out there to uh, make some more. But I will say, if you can get a hold of it, grab up some and uh, give it a try. I, I really have enjoyed this. I'm going to miss it when this tin runs out. I will say too, I was a little surprised when I first opened it, I was expecting a flake. Should have read the front of it because the front of it says right here, traditional ribbon style mixture. And that's exactly what you're going to find. You can see that ribbon right there. Hopefully the light's not too bad. Here we go. And uh, I don't know, this may be my fifth or sixth bowl and it's only half a bowl or a little over a half in this case. I've shared three bowls so if that gives you an idea as far as how much is left. Uh, so I guess we're about eight bowls in on this tin here. The pipe which I'm smoking it in is uh, really just a no named uh, bamboo and is an excellent smoker and it came in at the same time that I bought the pelican so that's all that's been smoked in this pipe so far well brothers and sisters I thought I would just give you this uh, kind of quick review a Buteris Pelican. If you can get a hold of a 10, jump on it. Uh, it is really good. Uh, as I say, uh, if you're not a fan of a lot of Kias, don't be afraid of this blend. This one's really not one to, I would say, that I would really consider a lot of Kia blend, though it's, it's there, but it's pretty far in the background. Well, brothers and sisters, hope you have a good evening. And God bless.